Biko. Yeah. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on the count of one love, my baby here will cut this cake. Uh, because uh, I, Wonder Boy, and my baby here, Nene, is one love forever, all together, all the way. Thank one you. Love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, our girl, Nene, we say, oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Hello! Me? Hello! Oh! oh. You! Hey! hey. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Nene. Happy birthday to you. How old are you now? How old are you now? How old are you now, old are you now Nene? Forget this cake, man. Forget this. Forget the cake. You know? Come, let's boogie. Up and down. Let's boogie. Jackass. Just stop. Did you see what he just did? It doesn't matter. She's not complaining. No, she's not complaining because she doesn't know what she wants, this girl. It's her bed and you won't even let her eat cake. Just back off, okay? Piece of shit. Cheers. <sighs> I don't know why Ike is not here, but I have a boyfriend waiting for me. I have to attend to him. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Hey. Oh, I don't know. Did I introduce her to you? No. Oh, this is Nene's younger sister. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. That's my boyfriend today.
this now? What's with this? Eh? Ah, this weekend now, you should be chilling with me now, Wonder Boy. You know, I'm mad to hear with a number, you know, baby. Where are you going? I'm off to the chain. Yeah, Jim, go. Now, baby, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, ah. Cool down, nah. I said I'm sorry, I was yesterday. I said I'm sorry, nah. I'm sorry. You know? I know you know I didn't mean it like that, nah. Eh? Oh, cool it, nah. Eh, baby. Mm, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. Bottom line, I got the message, so I'm off to the gym. Yeah, and uh, I almost forgot. The endorsement contract deal is by the dining. Read it and let me know what you think if I come back. Nah, baby. <laughs> now, what is it? Eh? What is it now? Nah? Stop this now. Nah. I said I'm sorry. Eh, baby, open eye. It's Wonder Boy. Yo. It's me. Yo. Too much scale, baby. Eh? <laughs> eh, go down. You know, go down. You know, I don't like touching contracts. You know, because that's why I pay you good money and James to do the job for me. And concerning love, let me tell you listen, love involves caring, and caring involves love. You know, and it is until you understand this that you understand the kind of love and care I have for you. You know, eh, baby? Hey, Chileke, I'm here. Hey, nah, oh my shit, highly romantic. Oh yeah, good. Hey, see you later. Eh, hey, babe? Nah, babe, what is this? Nah, baby, nah, for you. Nah, babe, what is this? 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 I have to be serious about this. This 10 kg I gained must go. I mean, for him to say it means I must look like a bag of rice. Hell no. Not when I'm in constant competition with those low life fans of his. No. There is no way I am going over this again. There is no way I'm taking another loan from, from, from the company account when you have not paid the last one I gave to you. For Christ's sake. Look, our auditors are coming in day after tomorrow. What do you want me to say to them? Huh? You want me to lose my job? Okay, okay. But baby, stop, okay? Don't, don't talk like that. Today I'll see what I can do. I'll try and see if I can raise money from my friends or something, but it's just long I'm taking another loan. Okay, all right, bye. Why do I always do this? Why the hell am I supposed to get 130,000 naira now? Why can't you just forget this private business thing and just look for a normal job like the rest of us? I have to stop. I am not about to rewrite the Bible. I'm a helper, not the help. It's not as if I'm married to him yet. So what is my baby doing? Cleaning up. 
were looking at the mirror as usual, huh? Because mm. you look really beautiful. <laughs> I know. If I wasn't so beautiful, you wouldn't be stuck on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck for life, baby! I know. <sighs> Hey, mm -hmm. I sure love what I'm looking at from this view. Mm -hmm. Why don't you come here and give me some, something, something? Mm. You're gonna have to beg for it. <laughs> I like it when you say that. Okay, please, baby. Not enough. Beg me some. People come to me when they are confused about their relationships. People only see what they really want to see. So, when they look at me, they see a self-confident, hard-working girl that doesn't have men problems. <laughs> well, I did. I wouldn't be hosting two of the hottest shows on TV and radio about emotions if I didn't. Well, it's imperative they continue saying that. But, seriously. What do I really see about myself? I see a girl who doesn't suffer fools gladly. A girl who will give her everything to make success work for her. Yeah, that's me. And this is my man. from Chibuzo. Why? Nothing. Um, this boy needs to be seeing his father. Please, please, please. When Chibuzo comes and tells me anything I know you'd like to know, eh? Like when his people are coming, then I'll tell you. But until then, please, Mama, let it be, eh? I don't know what is wrong with this generation. Always doing everything upside down. And when you open your mouth, you will become a nosy mother. What is wrong with wanting the best for your children? Me, I will continue talking till she and her sister do the right thing. Hello. Yes, we can hear you, okay? Go ahead, Miss Duke. Um, what? My boyfriend is a star now, but I'm um, back in the days, it was just him. You know, he was just him, I was just me. The, the thing is, he behaves like I'm supposed to be grateful that he's still with me all these years. I don't think he says that to me anyway, but he behaves like it. But when I talk to him about respect, he says, I nag. How do I make him treat me right without nagging about it? So I find myself. Not really saying the things that I should say because I don't want to be in that. So, um, this is actually the first time I'm show. Thank you, thank you. Bye. All right, Miss Duke. Thank you very much for calling in this week from VGC. And that will be the last call, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry that I could take this week. But I promise Miss Duke to be back with my advice on what you have just spoken about next week. And you guys can actually call in and advise Miss Duke as well. Um, remember that it is better for you to have very little expectations of your man or of your relationship and get a whole lot more than for you to have gigantic, you know, expectations and get very little. And my parting quote is, whatever it is that does not kill you can only make you stronger. My name again is Jess Azebioka and I will be with you same time, same station next week. Remember, fellas, don't hate me. Hate the situations you cause that bring me back to the city. Until then, bye-bye.
Ima, what was that? What was that you were doing with all your hands, you know, the gesticulations? What was that? I was about time. About time? Ima, did you know how much effort I put into keeping a very straight, serious, but yet smiley and friendly face on TV? And then you had to do all those things with your hands? Please do not do it again. It distracts me and I take exceptions to that. Tina! Tina! Yes, I'm here. Are you still here? What are you doing here? We did get to the dressing room and get my things to the car. We have barely 30 minutes to get to Lance FM. What is wrong with you? My goodness! Do I have to tell you everything? to have sex yet and I'm, I'm not saying you're not saying what and if you don't want to have sex start going home what do you mean start going home i'm only trying to explain mm. to you why why i don't want sex yet what is there to explain this is very simple you have to make up your mind either to be my girlfriend or not well if he loves me truly he will wait for me till i'm ready and i don't think you have any idea of how much we've just paid for this room? Look, can me stop wasting my time? Are you staying or are you leaving? Emeka, first of all, I'm your girlfriend. And secondly, you, sh you shouldn't allow sex to be the major priority in a relationship. That's what she told you, right? You are not everything big sister. Look, as far as I'm concerned, you're still a child. I am not a child. You're just a year older than I am. Well, I'm a boy. And you're a girl under the same roof, all alone. He claims to be my girlfriend and he said you don't want to have sex. Look, just do me a favor. Start going home before I forget you said no. Imika. Go ahead. Are you okay? Then you won't ask her the questions you have to ask her. It's only when you see me you ask. Please, Mama, I don't have time for your question and answer today. I beg you. to watch it with all this nonsense wedding imagination. What is even wrong with me? I'm not that old. If Tina is not wise enough to admit that what we have is worth saving, then why should I daydream in my head about marrying him? He's even jobless. Oh, hi Jess, what's up? Oh girl, nothing much. I'm just at home chilling. You know now, it's actually very boring. <laughs> so what's up? Okay, um, I was wondering, what about our usual, you know, gossips? It's a wedding. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant to say it's it's a weekend. Oh god, silly me. I'm so sorry. It's a weekend, so we can actually, you know, sit out, have a drink, and that's just. All right, dear. See you soon. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 
shit. For our usual weekend out, mm, something is up. There's something you seriously want to tell me. How did I'm itching? Okay. <laughs> okay, right, all right. There's something I want to talk to you about. No, rather, I, I need your advice on something. All right, whatever. As long as it is not about Tunde. It is not about Tunde, right? Of course it is. Seriously, Jess, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm just wondering, do you think I'm pushing him too hard for marriage? You know, girlfriend, I have been in this relationship for the past two years. And seriously, I think that if anything is going to happen, now is as good as any other time, you know? Gift, you are not seriously thinking about marrying Tunde, are you? Why? You are? Ah, gift! Have you been hanging out with Nene so much these days that you've begun to think like her? Christ, girl, where is your self worth? I. I. I don't understand. You don't understand? I mean, anybody walking in right now would think you're talking about some hot catch as opposed to some jobless dude. Yes! He is not jobless. No, he's not. Or oh, what do you call a guy who goes to an empty office every day and then returns back to you so you can pay his rent? Jobless. That is what I call him. Jobless. You know, I don't suffer fools gladly. That is you and Nena's preoccupation. Sorry. By the way, where is Nene? It is really getting late. She's supposed to be here by now. She's at the gym. <gasps> Come, let me tell you something, Jess. Let me just tell you something, okay? I don't like the way you talk about my boyfriend, okay? That is my boyfriend you just spoke about like that. And for this reason, I am not going to tell you anything about him again. Good readings, Gift. Seriously, I am tired of playing agony, auntie. No, but back to me. You mean her boyfriend won the boy? has been on her case again. She's back to this. My boyfriend thinks I'm fat and I have to go to the gym to go do some weight thing. My goodness. What is wrong with that girl? You know, how such an intelligent girl like Nene can allow herself to be brainwashed and pushed around by that big fat boyfriend of hers on the boy or something is what I don't understand. It beats me. What is wrong with you girls? Haven't you girls learned anything from me through this year? Stop. You know she hates it when you refer to my boyfriend like that. Like what? The name you just called her boyfriend. Bunda boy? Like I didn't nickname him that. Bunda boy. That's what he calls himself. That's what he has on his plate number. That is what his friends call him. The press call him. Even his girlfriend calls him Bunda boy. But that is besides the point here. What about you? Have you refunded that money that you borrowed from your company to give to that Tinde of yours? Have you? Super Hey, Adley! Hey, Hi, girl. You know, girl, I'm I always... I know that. But <laughs> let me finish. Let me finish. You know, I've always told you that one day I'm going to make a living, probably earn a living, in acting from one of these Nollywood films. <laughs> well, that's any day. That law and public relations stop being my best. So tell me, did you know it was me on your show yesterday? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I knew it was you. I mean, Miss Duke, how could I not know? I don't know any other girl with such a low self esteem. Jesus Christ. No, seriously, what were you thinking? You know that you can. Walk up to me and ask me any question under the surface of this earth and I will answer you. But no, you have to call the show. Why did you do that? Do you know what, Jess? You can be so annoying sometimes. Okay, fine. I 
I was just joking around, okay? I was depressed and I thought, I just thought for a moment that I could get answers from you if you thought I was a stranger. And for that stupid thought, I apologize. I am sorry. But the truth of the matter is, we can't all have it like you. Have what like me? Come on, girl. Are we back to this issue? My boyfriend thinks I'm fat and blah, 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 blah. What? Aren't you tired of sounding like a broken record? Oh, Jess, just stop it. Stop what? Stop it! For Christ's sake, she, she's not fat. I didn't say she's not fat. Oh, you fat. just said that. She's she a that. Sweetheart, she is not fat. All right? And please, can't you just see the fact that she is not in her right frame of mind? Oh, please, when will she ever be? It is not my fault that she allows her mood to be dictated by some whatever she calls the her boyfriend, from the boy or whatever. It is not my fault. Seriously, you allow him to talk down at you and then, you know, at the end of the day, you have no self-esteem, you have no self-worth, you can't do anything with yourself, you can't think. Okay. Um, concerning the question you asked me on air, I can give you the answer right here and right now. Girlfriend, yes! I think you should just take your answer and shove it! This high self-confidence Give Sweetie. I'm really sorry. I can just stay here, okay? I can do chit chat right now. I will call you, Sweetie, okay? I will call you later. That was so bad. That was so cold. That was mean. Oh, for Christ's sake, for Christ's sake, what she said. Was right. No, he can't all have rich superstar boyfriends who would go any mile for us. Don't you understand it? That is besides the point, Gert. We are not talking about you here. At least Nana's wonder boy is alright. He's doing fine. I don't know why she always has to alter herself to please him. She has to change herself. She has to lose herself to please him. That is not why. Jess, Jess, there is nothing. There is nothing wrong in a friend going to another friend to seek for advice on how she can put her relationship back on track. There is nothing wrong with it. I mean, it has nothing to do with self-esteem. And you, you, you just talk, talking to her like that so she doesn't start believing you. That is the problem, kid. She needs to start believing me. Girl. You need to see the positive side of the people, right? Mama, please, no, 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 please. If not now, when? If not now, when? When you have finished bringing disgrace to this family name? When you were busy running after a boy that has not even had a place, he will stay in Europe. And did I, did I kill you for it? No. All I asked was for you to bring him. To see your uncles. And you're here telling me, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not begging him to come and marry me. You're not begging him to come and marry you. Eh? God knows I did not do this to my mother. I didn't do this to my mother. I did not. If you think I am going to allow you, practice this to your single mother who jargon in this house. You lie. Mama, if you want me to leave your house, tell me I will leave your house. What is it? Nada! I was about what nobody else has done before. I'm having no bodies in my life. You party with you every day about my marital state. What is it? What do I know money has done before? Stop it, I can't hear you both from the gate. Mama, it's alright. I, I have told you to let her have your kid. Leave her and Chibuzo even. They will sort themselves out when the time is right. Sort themselves when the time is right. You, who invited you to this matter? Who invited you to this discussion? You. That you are busy running all over town with a small boy that, that has not even paid your breakfast. Going to his house to sleep. Everything. Who invited you? Eh? Oh, how will the two of you see anything wrong in anything when you're busy doing everything upside down? How will you see anything wrong? Whatever I did, I, 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 I did to the south you useless daughters. I do not know. I listened to my mother. Your father was the first man that saw my nakedness. Eh? Hey! God! God knows I have tried! I have tried my best. God knows I am a good mother. I instructed you people very well. It's just that you people decided to be useless.
Okay, baby, because I'm going to be in your house all weekend anyway, so I'll just write something Monday, it will be ready. Nah, I can't go weekend. What kind of weekend again, nah? Eh? What is your weekend visit? It's not nice, nah. Can you be visiting me weekend when we should be Wonder Boy all the time? At least now I have time for you, nah. Check it, nah. It's not nice. You know, it's like you don't even you don't even like it that I'm still with you after all these years. After all these years, check your name, I know. Then, Huh? You know, now Wonder Boy. You don't even know how many babes, you know, how many babies, you know, want Wonder Boy. It's not nice, now. Nah. Okay, check it, now. Nah. Check it. Check it. Chibuzo and your sister, check it. Check it, now. Nah. Now, nah, Chibuzo, leave your sister with one picking that you cannot deny her. It's mess up. It's big mess up. And now she's Tokumbo. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> let's just, let's just go, uh, you know, let's go. Go to your house or anywhere, maybe go for a few drinks. You can drop me back in the night. Ah. However, my mom will soon be home, and you know how she gets around. Okay, right? okay. Uh, you know, now nah, she'll be asking me all this plenty usual message. You know, when are you gonna ever bring your people? You know, when are you gonna, you know, bring wine? It's mess up it's, anyway. But she doesn't know Wonder Boy does his thing at his own time, man. Hey, man. Hey. Eh? Go, let's just go. Uh, okay. <laughs> now, don't be easy on that motor. That is expensive machine. 
Everyone needs to let you know she's a free giver. Abby? Really? But I don't know. And you are the stingy one, right? Mm. Look, yeah, me stop following me around. Don't bother me again until you are ready for me. You think me, Yemisi, yeah, I'll beg you for you to leave that girl. If you like, let your whole body eh, be in the mouth of a public toilet and see if I care. Nonsense. Okay. Same size, not uh, you understand me now? Thank you. Okay, sometimes I think you went to a special school to learn how to make me unhappy. Fine. I'm done here in jail. Wait, 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 wait. Why is it that you women don't like us men telling you the truth? Eh? You make it easy for us to lie to you. Why? First of all, I want to hear the truth. You just don't say it with kindness. And secondly, I am not women. Don't, don't generalize when you're talking to me. You know I, I don't like it. It's okay. It's okay. I'm well, sorry. Don't, don't, don't tell me sorry. You think, you think sorry is my problem? Is that what you think? Sorry is my problem? If sorry was my problem, we'd be attending our children's wedding by now. Just stop saying mean things to me one minute and say sorry the next. It's almost as if you do it on purpose. Oh, women, everything is an issue. Nigga, the life, man. Oh, you can't even pick up. So you speak it plenty, man. Listen, I'm telling you, I'm losing form. I'm losing form, my friend. Okay. I'm giving you a lot of. Standing outside today. What? What about you, Missy? There's no one home. I didn't see her when I came in, and I've been here for over three hours. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, sweetheart, I'm so sorry. Oh, why didn't you call me at least? You should have called. Where were you? At the office, obviously. Hmm. Anyway, I'm I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. Let's get in. Come on, come in. Oh, gosh, you scared me. What are you doing here? I was just going to get you something to drink. Baby, I didn't come here to drink and you know that. And you also know that there is no way I am going to get you another loan without you being the last one. Come on, honey. Why don't you just 
close down this your office and get a normal job, okay? Okay. Don't close it down until you're able to get something else. I mean, I could give your CVs to... Thanks, but no thanks. Come on, baby. You know now. You know how I feel about working for people. You know now. Oh. Then you think about it. Since this year, I want to be my own boss. Thing isn't working out. Think of what next year. Gift, you're still talking. I am done talking. Look, it's not as if you're going to buy my ideas. So what's the point? I had a very hectic day at work today. Let, let me just go and rest my head, all right? Please. Oh, 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 wait. Meaning I am jobless since I want to talk. I did not say that, okay? Let me even ask you this question. This year, I have to be my own boss thing. Is this what you intend to feed your family on? If we get married? The watchword is if. Because I have to stand on my two feet before I can think in that direction. And trust me, I am not even thinking of that now, baby. Nothing more to say to you this night. Good night. Hey, hey, hey! Somebody in And where do you think you're coming from? At this time of the night? Sir, please, not now. Trust me, don't. Oh, me. of course, after all, it's going to be a lie anyway. Lock up this house. And you stop trying me with this, your late night bullshit. Excuse me. This is a good self and it's Wahala. I'm my sister and the gift. She thinks she's the only one that has problem. I also have my own problem too. Very late, just in case you haven't noticed. Yeah, we don't know, sir. Mm -hmm. Gotta go. Here you Hmm. Never knew love till there was you. Never knew a girl could be this beautiful till I looked into your eyes. Ooh. Never knew a word could mean so many things. So you spoke those words to me. <laughs> oh my darling. Very, very romantic words. They're all about me, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Ike? Ike! Hey! What is yeah, yeah, whatever? Jess, I'm trying to work here, you know. Oh! I'm sorry, I didn't see you. I'm asking you a question, Jeremy. Would you face me and answer me? What is yeah, yeah, whatever? Yes! Yes? Why, why do you always do this? Do what? Turn everything around like it's all about you? Come on! Look, this don't mean nothing. Don't mean nothing. These words, no. Not to no girl and not to you. Please. I'm just trying to be creative here. 
a pretty girl. And don't you talk down to me like I'm some stupid dumb girl. Don't do it. I don't like it. No, you're not. You're just behaving like you are. Did you just try to insult me? No. No, you just insulted me. No. No, you just insulted said, me right now. No! Jess, listen, man. I'm, I'm, you, you know what? I just, I'm, I'm just tired of all this. I hate it when you make me look like I'm supposed to do Thanksgiving every Sunday because you are in my life. So why not? Do it. You should. Really? And all those things you see in the papers about us? Come on, why? Like we're some fairy tale? Oh. No, just stop. It's a normal for me. Stop. That's what all this is about, isn't it? <laughs> you know what your problem is? Hmm. Do you know what your problem is? You're going to tell me anyway. You are so damn used to having everything your way that you cannot handle a girl. A good girl who has a good head on her shoulders thinking for herself. I mean, everybody in this town knows we're growing up. So why would it be such a big deal to discuss an interview with you before having it? I don't see you doing that for me. Hey, I'm different. I'm a man. This is exactly what happens when you show a man too much love. You acknowledge him all the time. Good night. for you. Why? Well, I, I want us to discuss on something. I'm listening. Not yet. Let's go to your house. My house? Well, you know what will happen if you go to my house? I know. Ah, I know. You do? Alright. But you have to agree on something. Eva, once you go home with me, I'm alright. If you let go. Hi. Hi, Emeka. Vomit rubbish from your mouth. I am a first class product for crying out loud. And you think I can manage being CEO of my own company? What kind of rubbish talk is that? Look, it is not rubbish, and you know it. How many people working do you think are doing their dream jobs? Just about 10%. Everybody dreams of a better tomorrow. Everybody wants to do something better. I mean, it's a part of being alive. But then, you have to back it up with something. You have to start from somewhere. Okay? You start by making it small and then you hit the bigger picture. I haven't seen anyone who doesn't want to be his own boss. I also want to be my own boss, but hey, if I cannot afford it right now because my bills will not wait for my dreams to come true. This your I want to be my own boss thing is not working out. Maybe it will work out sometime in the future, but until then, get into that room, pick up your first class, whatever, dust it up, and get into the labor market and keep yourself busy. Ah, yeah. Now I know. I know, I know. I know what this whole salmon, this breaching is all about. You don't want to give the loan to me. I know you don't want to give it to me, but save it. Because when and if I need lectures on the labor market, I know exactly where to go for it. Hey, 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 no, okay, okay. Oh, 
What? Okay. Just, just say it. Are you giving it to me or not? Ah. No, you, you don't, don't go now. Ah, you know now. I need that. All right, we have a mail coming in right now from Rita from Port Harcourt. She says, I have been with this guy for a very long time now, and I know it is almost impossible for men not to cheat on their girlfriends. But now he puts his cheating in my face. What should I do? Okay, that was from Rita in Port Harcourt. Um, Rita, I understand what you're going through and I, I understand exactly what you're saying. It, it is almost impossible for a man not to cheat on you. But like you said, it is even worse when he cannot hide it from you. Um, Rita, you're going to have to take charge of your situation. You're going to have to call your man and ask him some very vital questions. Does he think or no, rather, do you think that this relationship is heading to the altar? If yes, then you're going to have to demand some respect from him. For what you guys have together you know um yeah that way both of you can come to head um about your situation and how you can move it to the next level and then you'll know from there what next you have to do all right i hope i have answered your question rita we will take another mail coming in right now from benin oh this is a song and a song is saying that my girlfriend oh we have a man for a change <laughs> well you got some good suggestion girl Wow, I didn't think of that, you know. Thanks. <laughs> no, you're the mom, you're the mom. I'm going to think about that. And I'll make sure that's put in the right security. And who's the joke? Uh, not really, but everybody see, Tina here was suggesting something that would be so cool for my single. Really? Where are my stuff? In the camera. Which is exactly where I expected you to be. Or in the studio trying to see if there are more stuff I need to move into the car. Not standing here with my fans, discussing things that are no business of yours. Sorry, now move and stay in the studio till I get back. No, that wasn't really necessary. No? No. You know, if I were you right now, I'll just sit there. It's not like I don't have one or two things to say to you. It's just that I don't have the time right now. I'm running late. Can we go? Wondering why did it have to be this way? 